Hi, I'm Trevor Diamond. I'm an intern at the House Divided Project at Dickinson College, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a custom map using the new Google Maps. So here we are on the regular Google Maps page, and it's important to note before we begin that Google has made a lot of changes to the Create a Map feature uh, about in the past year, so we'll be going through those changes today as well as showing you how to create a map. When you go to begin to create a map, it's important to make sure that you're signed into a Google account so that when you click on the menu sidebar, your places comes up, and then you can go to Maps and go to the bottom and hit Create Map. So this is our blank map. The first thing we're going to do is title it, so we're just going to name this test map. And the description is a great place to add a short blurb about the map or who created it. So we're just going to make this by Trevor Diamond. And then we're going to change it from private to public so that when you're finished, everyone can see it on the web. They don't need a password or anything. And then we're going to change the base map to satellite so it's a little bit easier to see the locations within the map. We're going to put our place mark in Carlisle, PA. So this place mark is going to detail the story of the shelling of Carlisle on July 1st, 1863. The city was shelled by the Confederate cavalry during the Gettysburg campaign. So this green mark is just a symbol showing you where the location you typed in is. Once you hit add to map and it becomes red, then it is your place mark. So we're going to zoom in to see where to put it. And then once it is on the map, you can move it wherever you want. So we're going to put it here, which is the academic quad of Dickinson College. And then you can start editing the actual place mark. So the first thing we're going to do is edit the place mark itself. So you can change it to any of these colors and icons, but then you click more icons and there's a load of other options. And then you can also make a custom icon. So this is the custom icon we use at the House Divided Project. You use any icon, click custom icon, and then place the image in the image URL bar and once it's popped up there you have it and there's your custom icon so we can close out of style and then we can begin to edit the actual description so we can remove the details from Google Maps and then hit edit so we're gonna put the date first July 1st 1863 we find it really helpful to organize all of your place marks chronologically using this layer function which I'll show a little bit later it helps it helps organize the map a lot better And then the actual description, we've already typed one out here. So you're not able to format text on Google Map. That's one of the big changes they made. So you're not allowed to do separate paragraphs or italic and bold text. You can't hyperlink text, but you can include URLs. So as you can see here, we have separated all of our segments of this description using forward slashes. So we have the location and then the image and video credits that we'll be using, and then a brief blurb from a letter written about the Shell of Carlisle, and then the information about it and the URL about where to find it. And this is another way where you have to be really creative about how to set up the description on Google Maps, and there's a lot of different options. And then you can add media. So we're gonna add an image and a video. This is the image of the Shell of Carlisle from the House Divided Research Engine, so you can just paste the image URL, and you can also do a Google image search if you would like. And then we're gonna add a video, so you hit the small plus mark, and we're gonna take the YouTube URL, copy, and you, same thing, you can do a YouTube search for a video. We're gonna paste it, hit select, and there we go, there's our description. So you can go in between, and then we can click out of that, and then we're gonna title the layer, Carlisle, so when we go to preview the map, our place mark will fall under that layer. So we can click on the place mark, and there is our description. You can click on the image, and that will bring up a way for you to see both the image and the video. You can zoom out. Place mark is still there, easily visible. And now we'll look at two little bit more full maps. So this is our Civil War map at the Dickinson Survey of American History. This is a great way to show the layer feature. So as you can see, these layers are done by year and then these events are chronological. So you can click on them from the layer and then go back, it's very easy to navigate. And then this is a really great example of a full map. This is our Lincoln's Writings map. It uses all the 150 documents from the Lincoln's Writings website we have at the House Divided and puts them on a map to show where they were. So we'll click on this one, a letter to Andrew Johnson, and it's got a description and a URL of how to get to the letter itself. And so this is another example of a really full map. And it's a really great uh, 
way to see how you can use a lot of different place marks and create a very great teaching aid for students using geography. Uh, so this is the Dickinson Survey of American History that we already saw, and there's a ton of maps here, and they're all really great examples, and then the tutorial is on the bottom as well. So we'll go back to our map. So again, the map is a really great way for students to see and understand a lot of what they're learning about in a physical way. And it's really simple, really easy, and you can get very creative with it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a custom map. <music>